Hi guys, welcome back for another video from Cichlid Bros. Today, we're going to walk through a care guide and a species spotlight on one of our favorite cichlids, Severum. Before we start, please take a moment and click that subscribe button down below. We come out with weekly videos that you won't want to miss. And let's dive right in. Here, we have a red spotted Severum. I also have a red shoulder and a turquoise severum that are growing out in a different tank and we'll show them a bit later. There are many different types of severums. We're focusing on the most popular in the hobby in this video, the Haros fasciatus, and all severums fall under the Haros genus. This here is the red spotted severum, which isn't found in the wild and has been selectively bred in the hobby. Some of the most common variants out there are the red shoulder severum, Red Tiger Severum, the Turquoise, which is very similar to the Green, and the Gold. The wide range of types and colors make the Severum a great choice for your tank. Severums are awesome cichlids that get big, but aren't known to be super aggressive. They are general giants for the most part and they are compatible with a wide range of tank mates. They can reach 10 to 12 inches long in an aquarium, but they are also very tall fish, so the overall size is pretty massive. Some people have said they're a poor man's discus since they are also tall fish, but I prefer these over discus any day of the week, although I'd admit that I am biased. My severums have a lot of personality, and I've just grown to love these guys. They are relatively hardy and easy to keep, as long as you do your regular maintenance and have a suitable tank. They are a decent option for beginner fish keepers, as long as you have a big tank. Most people recommend a minimum tank size of 55 gallons, especially if it's a full grown adult. This red spotted severum is still growing in this 75 gallon tank, but I have plans to get an even bigger tank in a few months. And really, a 75 gallon is the minimum we'd recommend for any adult. The bigger the tank, the better. They grow fairly quick too. Maybe not the same speed as an Oscar, but it is close. Big Red here has grown very fast in the past year. Just check out this evolution. Due to its size, Severums can hold their own with some of the bigger cichlids like Oscars, Jack Dempsey's, or even Green Terrors at times. We've even seen them in tanks with arowanas. Just make sure you don't put a small Severum in with a much larger or fully grown tank mate. My favorite tank setup would be Severums with electric blue Acaras and different Geophagus species. That's actually what I have in this tank. Other tank mate options could be Bala Sharks, Plecos, Fire Mouse, Convicts, even a lot of community fish. I would avoid the smaller ones though, as they might end up being a snack. Our two juvenile Severums are in with Rasboras temporarily, but will be separated soon as they aren't long term fits. Identifying males versus females can be a little tricky with Severums. Some say that males usually have more patterns on their gill plate, more of a worming coloration as seen here, and that their fins will be longer flowing with pointed tips. This is much easier to see when they are more mature. This red spotted severum appears to be a male, however I'm not 100% certain since he's still growing and I would like to wait just a little bit longer to determine that for sure. Severums are South American cichlids and reside in rivers and basins that have plenty of driftwood, rocks, and sand bottoms. So that is the aquascape we would recommend for these guys. We'd also recommend a water pump to keep some water circulation going throughout your tank. And here's just a quick heat map of where they reside in South America. It's primarily Brazil, Peru, and Colombia. These guys are messy eaters and have a ton of waste. So you'll want adequate filtration. We have a Pimplax canister and an AquaClear 110 on this tank. We'll put links in the description below if you want more information there. Speaking of eating, 
These guys are omnivores and they are not picky eaters whatsoever. My Severins have always eaten very well with a combination of frozen bloodworms, brine shrimp, pellets, and flakes. We currently feed this tank a variety of Cobalt Aquatics food line with more details again below. They'll readily eat vegetables and even fruit. I occasionally give them lettuce or cucumber. So as you can guess, Severums will most definitely eat your plants. We've tested a ton of live plants without much luck. The best we've kept alive have been Anubias tied down to decor, but you'll see that even these have large bites taken out, so you'll just have to keep that in mind when setting up your tank with Severums. Being South American cichlids, they do best in softer water with lower pH. However, we do have hard water in Chicago with a higher pH, and they've always thrived. Tank temps are your standard tropical range of 74 to 82, so you'll want to get a heater. As far as breeding goes, they don't pair up very easily, so sometimes if you're looking to breed, you might need to get a group of 6 to 8 just to get that pair to develop. The female will lay eggs and the male will fertilize them. They usually like flat surfaces like a rock. And one of the other genus of Severums are actually mouth brooders, but those aren't common in the hobby today. So that pretty much sums up the Severum. We really love this fish and we would recommend it to almost anyone as long as you have a suitably sized tank. We hope this was interesting and helpful for you. As mentioned, we're getting a huge tank soon, which will be the new home of these Severums. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. We're very excited about the future and hope you follow along. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you on the next one.